Hey guys, this is Pete Friends 91 and I'm talking about Netflix, right? Not gaming this time. Because you guys remember how, those of you old enough, I guess, would remember how Netflix used to kind of be the dominant streaming service. But then, of course, so many other streaming services came out. And now Netflix seems to be, I'm not going to say struggling, but less than they were before, right? Now, Netflix's model, I'm not sure when they started it, but had at least for a while now been the you pay and there's no like commercials or anything in between the movies or shows you watch right but when certain other streaming services like peacock came out they went with a different model i think they have it where you can pay a certain amount and then you don't have to see any ads in between like your shows or movies but you could also pay a lesser amount i think it's like 4.99 and then you'd have to see ads and stuff in between either your show or movie and Netflix didn't adopt that new format for a while, but it seems like they finally are. Now, this isn't confirmed. This is apparently from a Bloomberg article. I got it from a GameSpot article, which I'll link in the description below. But here's the problem. Like I said, I think Peacock is around $4.99 a month if you want to watch ads in between your shows or movies. But Netflix apparently is going to be between $7 to $9. I'm not sure what the, what like who's going to get the 7 who's going to get the 9 who's going to get the eight, I'm just not sure at all. But that's what it seems like based on the Bloomberg report, I'm assuming, it's going to be seven to nine dollars. Now, Netflix without any ads in between your movies or shows is around fifteen dollars and fifty cents. So it, I just don't think the difference is big enough. Like I think maybe it should be between five to seven dollars, because then at least even if you're paying the seven, it's less than half of the 1550 because if you're paying the nine if like this is me personally if i'm paying nine dollars a month i would probably jump straight to the 1550 because i'm like the difference between them i'm like it just makes more sense to me to get the one that doesn't have ads in between the shows or movies so i really think they need to come up with a cheaper model while people are watching their stuff because i really don't think this model makes much sense like maybe the seven dollars but definitely not the nine but what do you guys think about this model? Do you guys think it actually is good and that this will help Netflix get out or get further ahead in the streaming game? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And may God bless you all.